It's the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z and we are B-A-C-K-A-G-A-I-N right outside the Delaware Bridge. And if this is your first time watching the M-O-P-O-W-E-R-Z, I ask that you share the information with relatives, friends, co-workers, anyone that you come into contact with. It is a magnificent way to jumpstart your conversation. And today's conversation just happens to be about Juneteenth. And for those of you who don't know what Juneteenth is, Juneteenth is a day that is celebrated for the emancipation of slaves that was done by Abraham Lincoln. Now, on January 1st, 1863, Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. Yet there were still slaves that did not know about this in Galveston, Texas. But those politicians in Galveston, Texas knew about this. Finally, when Abraham Lincoln put the hammer down, it's June 19, 1865. So that's like two and a half years later. And those that were in Galveston, Texas did not know that they were free. So Galveston, Texas celebrated that day as a holiday in that state, Juneteenth, June 19, 1865. And now today they are working to pass a law through federal government to make it a national federal holiday, Juneteenth, June 19th. And with all of this being done, well, you will give us a holiday, but you won't give us reparations. You'll give us a holiday, but you won't give us reparations. Mind you, the U.S. government is responsible for the death of all black leadership that has existed. Yet, we still don't deserve reparations. What do you want to give us a holiday? Now, it's very interesting on why they would want to give this holiday during all of this madness. Think about it. Could this be a band-aid or a token given to black people? Seeing that it is a continuous degradation of black people, not to mention that we are cons consistently being killed every day just as we were in slavery. Not as many, but I'm just saying. The fact remains that why all of a sudden now is it being pushed as a federal holiday? Why now? After, well, how many years later? 200 and some years later? How long have we been asking or trying to work the system, as they say, to come up with some deal or to be human, just to be human, just to be human. And they can't do that. They can't do that. You want to give us a June 19th, Juneteenth day, yet William Harvey, William Harvey. And if you all are not familiar with William Harvey, William Harvey is a black man that died in the interview room of the Savannah Police Department, just committed suicide, supposedly. Yet and still, five officers involved were placed on those officers, which was five of them. Two of them was fired, and the other three were placed on administrative leave. Mind you, why isn't there any camera footage when William Harvey was in an interview room by himself? Isn't the camera supposed to always be rolling? Just from my standpoint, it is safe to say, just from my standpoint, that they killed that man. That they killed that man. Now, he was only in questioning for an aggravated assault. Who kills themselves for an aggravated assault? Mind you, he wasn't even convicted of the crime. So he's just going to kill himself in the police station? I'm just saying. Juneteenth, that is a joke. Juneteenth is a joke. A holiday, freedom, or reparations. I don't know how many times reparations has been placed on the table, maybe 200 times, and they still say no. But they're quick to give you a holiday. Yet, the police continue to kill us. That's an actual fact. That's not something that I'm pulling out my ass. That's an actual fact. 
I know it, you know it, and they know it. So if you want to celebrate Juneteenth, that's on you. But I know one thing, you should not be celebrating the 4th of July. That is for your oppressors, not your freedom. And if you know anything about the Boston Tea Party, you'll understand that. If you know anything about history, you'll understand that.